Uh, these graphs show how the displacement of certain objects change with time. So the top graph here shows that the displacement is not changing with time, it's fixed. For example, if it's at positive five meters, it's staying at positive five meters throughout time. So this object is, we say, stationary or um, at rest. So it's not moving. Uh, so its velocity is zero. This one here, you can see its dis displacement is increasing by the same amount for each unit of time. So this means that it's moving at constant um, velocity, constant positive velocity, because it's uh, the gradient is positive. Okay, that's because the gradient of these graphs represents the velocity. So the steeper the gradient, the faster the object is moving. And if the gradient is negative, it's downwards, then that means the uh, object is traveling the op neg uh, opposite direction. For example, in this graph, the object has started away from the origin, so it didn't start at zero, it started at, for example, let's say 10 meters, and it's moving back towards origin, an equal amount of uh, displacement for every unit of time. So it's moving at constant velocity, but it's moving in the opposite direction, constant negative velocity. Now here, these, these graphs on the right side are more interesting because there the gradient is changing. That means accelerating. So if, the, if it's a curve in a uh, displacement time graph, it's accelerating. So the screen at the beginning, it's basically zero. It's actually not moving at the beginning. It's at rest at the start. But then the gradient starts to increase. The, uh, it gets steeper and steeper. So that means it's accelerating. Here, this one is started off really fast. So you can see the steepness of the curve, it's, but the steepness decreases until it's flat. So it comes to, it's at rest at the end, and it started off fast, so that means it's decelerating. You can work out the uh, velocity or the speed in this, the top graph by doing uh, the gradient of the graph. Uh, you can work out the change in y divided by change in x. So for example, the first one here, up to this point here, the speed would be the ch change in y, which is zero minus four. So four minus zero, change in y, which is gonna be the speed, over the change in x, which is here five minus zero. So you could do these dotted lines to help you. Okay, and then that gives me a speed of 0 0.8 meters per second. To be very careful to be consistent, you can't do, for example, 0 minus 4, you do it the right way around. You can see this, the second part, the object is moving much more quickly because the gradient is steeper. But again, I, I can work out the speed in the second part doing change in y divided by change in x for that section. So the final number there is uh, so 12 minus 4 over 10 minus 5. So that gives me 8 over 5, which gives me 1.6 meters per second. So it is actually moving twice the speed of beginning. And the last section here is display distance isn't changing. So the speed there is zero. It's, it's at a constant distance, so 12 meters away from the start, and it's staying at that time, that place for five seconds. So the speed at the end is zero meters per second. It's not moving. Now we have a displacement time graph, that means the direction is more important in this one. So to work out the velocity here, you do the same thing again, changing y divided by changing x. So if you do for the first one, it turns out you get the same thing. Four divided by five, you get 0 0.8 meters per second. But for the second part, it's more difficult. For, so from here to here, I'm going to start with the final value. I'm going to start with minus 4, the, um, the y value there, here, minus the y, y value on this point here, which is 4, positive 4, divided by the change in x. So you can see the total change at the top should be minus 8. Uh, and the change in uh, x is going to be 10 minus 5. So that gives me minus 8. over 5, excuse me, minus 1.6 meters per second. So it's very same speed as before, 
but it is in the opposite direction. And the last section is not moving at all, so the velocity there is zero. So t equals zero.